Normally, by this point in the semester, the students cast in COC's spring musical would be spending their nights on stage, performing their hearts out in front of hundreds. Unfortunately, the coronavirus pandemic has made that impossible for the cast of this year's production of Pippin. Despite the complications of COVID-19, COC's theater department is committed to giving students the most they can get out of this less than ideal situation. The worst thing you can do is practice defeat or practice surrender. Um, and um, while this is like, you know, a, a challenge on an epic scale for a, for a production, when you go from a live performance to a, a webcam performance, um, I was proud of us for taking on that challenge. And to be sure, those challenges have been great. Uh, rehearsals tend to take longer. It's harder for me to read people. Um, as the director, I, I really, you know, I want to understand um, what people are, what my actors are doing, why they're doing things. I want to have those conversations. And um, through this, this experience, it's just harder to sort of be intuitive about that. So the way that I engage with everyone whenever we have full cast events is constantly sabotaged by slow Wi-Fi's or issues of signal or my phone's dying, I have low battery. There's always something. Um, and those kinds of challenges are unique to this situation. Before the pandemic hit, Matt McRae had a unique take on this classic musical. Originally, we were going to do Pippin kind of exploring how technology and, um, and internet connectivity has taken away um, meaningful relationships and meaningful connection. Now, the only thing keeping the production together is that same technology. The complications of an online production made for an often frustrating trial and error process, but the cast of Pippin has finally finished their recordings. The result of their hard work will now be what is essentially a feature length film. I think, um, the students are to be really commended for, for figuring it out on the fly. After all, the show must go on. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Sydney Sweet.